Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do a fresh install of the latest Windows beta without the Insider program and without needing Windows Update. Stay tuned. This week's sponsor is me. If you'd like to support this channel, the best way is to pick up a t-shirt at cybercputech.com. All my t-shirts are extremely high quality and durable. These are the same shirts I wear in videos. So if you like the shirt I'm wearing, then head over to cybercputech.com and pick yourself up one today. Windows Beta, here we come. Do you have an old computer laying around that you'd like to try out the latest beta version of Windows in? Or just an extra hard drive you can stick in your main system? Well, that's easy. Just sign in with a Microsoft account, join the Insider program, and you can use Windows Update to update your system to the latest beta. However, if you don't want to sign your system into a Microsoft account, and you don't want to join the Insider program, there's still a way that you can run the latest beta of Windows. You can use a free open source tool called UUP Dump. Now, there's several reasons why you would want to do this. The first one is, like I just stated above, you just want to try the new beta, but you don't want to be in the Insider Preview program, and you don't want to tie your system to a Microsoft account. You might also want to do a fresh install of the latest beta instead of upgrading your current system. Maybe you just want to install it on a spare hard drive, but you don't want to go through the hassle of setting up Windows just to upgrade it to the latest beta. No matter what your reasoning, it's extremely easy to download the latest beta ISO using the UUP Dump tool. UUP Dump is a tool that allows you to create a custom Windows ISO file from any public preview. The tool is actually a collection of tools and scripts used to download the latest builds from the Microsoft Update servers to create an unofficial ISO file that you can use to install the OS. Now, as a quick disclaimer, this should only be done on a system that you don't use every day. Beta versions of Windows are buggy, and in some cases, entire sections of the operating system simply don't work. At least, they don't work well. This is only so you can get an early preview of upcoming features to Windows. So, with that in mind, let's jump on the computer and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so this is really easy to do. All you got to do is go to the uupdump.net website and this is essentially where you're going to find the scripts that you need in order to build whichever version you decide to build. Now, when you first open this web page, and I'll leave a link to this in the description below, you'll come with a web page that shows you quick options or a search. You can actually search for specific builds. So if you want a specific build number, you can always search for it, but we're not going to do that today. What we're going to do is go to these quick options right here and this gives you several different options you can either get the latest public release you can get the latest release preview build the latest beta channel or the latest development channel now these are the two we're going to be looking at today the beta channel and the development channel now the difference between the beta channel and the development channel is the beta channel is a little bit more refined now don't get me wrong there's still going to be a lot of bugs in it but the development channel is just bleeding edge. It's all the absolute latest updates to the Windows beta or the Windows development preview. And with that one, you're gonna have a lot more bugs. So if you're not good at dealing with that kind of stuff, you probably wanna stick with beta instead of development. But that's up to you. The nice thing about setting this up on an extra system is you can always reinstall it if you have to. So let me show you what to do. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, we're gonna use the beta channel. So to do that, we just wanna pick our architecture. For us, it's gonna be the 64-bit. And once we click on that, it's gonna give us this page here. Now this gives us several options right here. There's a couple of different insider previews that we could download, or we can even get the latest update for Windows 10 if we wanted to, at least the latest beta for Windows 10. But we're not gonna be doing that, we're gonna be doing Windows 11 insider preview. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the latest one. We're gonna click on it. And then from here, it gives you a section, this is where you have to actually kinda of select the different options that it's going to use to build your ISO for you. So we're going to start with English because I'm English speaking, but for you, if you want a different language, just go ahead and select that here and hit next. And then from there, we want to choose which edition that we want to build. So I'm going to uncheck some of these. 
I just want Home and Pro. And this is gonna make it a little bit quicker to download so we don't have to download the extra versions that we don't need. So we're gonna go ahead and hit Next now. And then from here, it gives us another page where we can choose different options. We can download the UP set, we can download and convert it to ISO, that's the one we're gonna do, or we can download and add additional additions and convert it to ISO. That one we're not gonna mess with. And then there's a couple of different options here. We can actually convert the WIM file to an ESD here, but if you don't understand what that means, then just leave it default the way that it comes right here. Just include Windows, Windows Converter only. And then go ahead and hit Create Download Package package and as soon as you click on that it's going to ask you to download the package so we're going to choose to save it to our desktop we're going to hit the save button and then it's going to download the package okay so now that the download's done i'm going to go ahead and minimize this and here's the package right here that we downloaded we're going to open this up right here and these are the files that we're going to need to build the iso itself and to do that all you got to do is extract this folder so we're going to go ahead and hit extract all to our desktop And then with this folder open right here, all we wanna do is this UUP download command. All we have to do is right click, hit run as administrator. We're gonna to have to go ahead and click on more info and hit run anyway. From here, we're gonna to wanna to select yes for the administrator access. And at that point, the program starts running. So depending on the speed of your internet and the speed of your computer itself, this might take a while because what you're doing now is downloading all the different additions that you told the script to download as well as converting all that to an ISO image. And unfortunately, that's gonna take some time. So through the magic of video editing, I'm gonna jump ahead to the end, but unfortunately, you're gonna have to wait it out. But I'll see you back in Windows. And just like I said, that took a really long time. It probably took half hour, 45 minutes to get done. But once it's finished, it says press zero to exit. So you press zero and that window will close. And in the original folder, you'll find a whole bunch of new files that you didn't have before. But the one we're interested in is right here, the disk image itself. That's the one that we're gonna need in order to install the latest beta on whatever system you plan on installing it on. Now at this point, you can take that ISO, burn it to a DVD, and install it on whatever system you want, at least a system with a DVD drive. However, most systems today don't come with DVD drives anymore, so we're gonna need to make an actual USB drive out of it, and for that, we're gonna need a blank USB drive, and then we're gonna take this USB drive, plug it into our computer, and I'm gonna show you how you can actually take this ISO and put it onto a USB drive. Let's do that now. Okay, so for this, we're gonna need a program called Rufus. And Rufus is a really easy to get program. It's free, you can download it. I'll leave a link in the description below. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure to choose the USB drive that we just put in the computer, which we got right here. And then we wanna push the select button to select the disk image itself. So when we click on that, we're gonna to wanna to go to our desktop and then we're gonna to wanna to go into the folder that we just created here that has all of these files in it. So once we open that up, you'll see here's the ISO that we created. If we click on that and hit open, it will open up and it already detects it as Windows 11. So it gives you this little image option right here where you can actually tell it no TPM or no secure boot or you can just do it like default. I'm gonna go ahead and set it to no TPM and no secure boot because the system that I plan on putting this on doesn't actually support TPM or secure boot. And if you do that, you may also wanna change the partition scheme from GPT to MBR, especially if you're gonna install this on a system that doesn't support secure boot, because in those cases, you probably won't be able to boot the USB through UEFI or GPT. You'll need to boot it through MBR. So make sure if you change this to no secure boot, you also change the partition scheme to MBR. And then once you do that, you go ahead and go down to the bottom and push start and go ahead and hit yes to verify what you wanna do. And it will go ahead and write that ISO to the USB drive. Now this is gonna take a minute to do, so just be patient and once it's done, you'll have a copy of Windows 11 beta that you can install on another system. So now you should have a working installer for the latest beta to Windows 11 or Windows 10, depending on which one you chose. 
However, I have to warn you that I would not recommend using this on a system that you rely on. Beta versions of Windows are buggy and some functions may not work at all. So make sure that you only use this for testing purposes to check out the new beta and to see some of the new features coming to Windows. In fact, if you'd like to check out my video where I go through the new features that are coming in the next version of Windows 11, then check out this video here where I use this very tool in order to make that video. You guys have a great day.